fire. It's devastating, destructive, and deadly. Firefighters need the most advanced tools to effectively prepare, prevent, battle, and investigate fire scenes. We at Faro Technologies are committed to providing these resources through our dedicated diagramming solution. Faro Fire Zone. We can't fight the flames with you, but we'll be there before, during, and after with Pre-Incident Plan Diagramming. Safety and Egress Mapping. Site Mapping. Fire Investigation. Military Air Pre-Fire Planning. Wildfire Mapping. Post-Incident Diagramming. Feral Fire Zone isn't limited to 2D representation. We enable robust 3D modeling as well. The building blocks of any diagram are lines, so we make precision line drawing simple with easy lines. Click Start, then the direction of the line. Enter the distance and click the line command. Set the next direction and repeat. To create interior walls, set a marker by clicking Start, clicking the beginning of a wall, inputting the distance for the marker, then clicking the Marker command. Then draw walls as before. Click the Easy Intersection command and design your intersection here by selecting the style of intersection from the right panel. Move the street with the handy grips. Add features such as crosswalks, bypasses, overpasses, and line types. Each comes with their own grips for easy manipulation. Assign the street length, then click Place to add it to your scene. Click in the scene where you want it to go. Buildings don't have to be drawn. You can also use Easy Builder. Click the shape of the new building and either drag the green handles or enter the distance values in the column. Click Show Dimensions if you want them to display. Click Place Building, then click in the scene where you want it to go. Reorient the building by selecting it and turning the orientation handle. Add stairs to a building with easy stairs. Choose a stair style on the right and modify as needed on the left properties and feature panels. Finish up by clicking place, then click in the scene. Google and Bing Maps add rich detail while maintaining complete accuracy. Enter a location. Select Google or Bing. Zoom to the desired view and click Place. Select the image to open the Edit panel. From here you can dim the image and lock it from moving while we trace that building. Click the Trace Line command and select a style for tracing. Click Auto Align. Begin tracing the building. With Auto Align selected, the first line sets the orientation angle. Notice the long cursor line, which makes drawing through obstructions like trees easy. Add dimensions by clicking the Dimension command. Hard to see, isn't it? Click the Blot Prefs command to add white space around the dimension. Draw a dimension line by clicking the start point and the end point. Then, pull away and click to set the distance of the dimensional line from the measured line. Return to Easy Tools by clicking the back command. Include symbols by clicking the symbols command. Symbols are arranged by category. Click a category and a subcategory tab to view symbols. Select a symbol and your first click in the scene places the symbol 
Your second click sets the orientation. Show dimensions from FDCs to fire hydrants and other important features. This enables firefighters to know the length of hoses required. Faro Fire Zone is stocked with targeted symbols accessed through the Categories command and the More button. These symbols include Fire Symbols, Insurance Symbols, Investigation Symbols, Safety Symbols, Air Military Symbols, NFPA Symbols, Alarm Symbols, International Symbols. Create a report by clicking the Forms menu, selecting your report from the list, filling in the form blanks, and then click File, Print to Print, or Create a PDF. Point clouds are the rising stars of forensics. With a Ferro Focus 3D scanner, you can capture millions of points in moments, creating 3D scenes of startling accuracy. For more information on this time-saving, accuracy-enhancing device, please visit our website at www.ferro.com. With the optional point cloud module, Ferro FireZone can use such point clouds to render incredible 3D models. The point cloud opens in the point cloud editor. Navigate the cloud using the mouse to zoom, rotate and pan, or use the navigation commands along the top. The detail of the point cloud can be translated into a diagram using symbols and tracing. Right click the image to display the point tools menu. We're removing the roof using the keep window command. To create a 2D elevation view from the point cloud, place the 2D and 3D windows side by side. Using the draw tools on the right of the point cloud editor, trace any lines and notice the lines are displayed in the 2D view to actual size. Give the 2D lines height by clicking the 3D builder command and entering height. Then add doors and windows. Three D symbols can be placed in the diagram to match items in the scene, including couches, tables, chairs, ottomans, and even people. Click Three D Body to open the Easy Body Poser. Click the body position on the right. Pose with the handy grips. Creating the traditional 2D elevation view from a point cloud ensures high accuracy. We'll show you how based on our previously shown point cloud. We begin by tracing the damage on the wall and the chair. Next, we trace the different levels of damage for individual texturing later. If you can't see the damage from this view, check the other side. Close the Point Cloud Editor and open the 3D Diagram View to make sure you've captured everything. Add dimensions and labels as desired. To add an elevation view, click the Wall Elevation command to open the Auto Elevation Wizard. Follow the wizard instructions. We can now label the damaged areas, define through color, or add texture. Click the Texture command. Select the texture, and for enclosed areas, click the Fill command, and click in the area to fill.
For unclosed areas, click the Trace command and outline the area to fill. We can also inflict damage on a 3D symbol and automatically display it on the 2D symbol. Select the symbol on the scene to damage. You can color the symbol. Select the side to damage and use the handles to inflict the damage. The damage is shown here in 2D. Open the 3D view to see the same damage there. Evidence markers are found under the Symbols category and the Fire Investigator Placards tabs. Select the marker and click to place it in the scene. The markers are flat in 2D and tense in 3D. Fire Investigation Symbols are found under the Fire Investigation tab. Bubble labels are found under text dimensions on the tool zone. Bubble labels can be used to show evidence, photo, sample, and witness location. For more than 20 years, FireZone has been used by firefighters and fire investigators to create all types of fire service diagrams. Thank you for joining us in this overview of Ferro FireZone. We're confident you'll find it an invaluable tool. For more information, please visit www.ferro.com or call your Ferro contact.